Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan. Welcome back to more Bioshock Infinite. Last time we made our way deep into the Hall of Heroes, found the shock jock or shock, shock jockey. There we go, the shock jockey exhibit and discovered Slate has consumed a ton of the stuff and now he's a little psycho. Yeah. So we have to get out of here somehow. I don't remember how though. That's a problem. Uh, I think it's pretty easy, but I don't remember where to go. Where are you, exit? Okay, obviously it's not there. <laughs> I'm supposed to do something though, I think. The whole place oh, is there ransacked. we go. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. Alright, so we didn't activate it before. Oh, look at that, that's lovely. Thanks for the uh, the electrical spikes. Slate. He's here. Elizabeth, look out, don't touch that stuff. You crazy girl? You crazy? Wait, can I upgrade? Yo, we can. Awesome. Clip increase. Oh yeah. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. Thanks, girl. Oh, I can hold three rockets now. Awesome. What is that? Comstock ships. It's coming for Slate. It was Slate who killed for his country at Wounded Knee. It was Slate who stormed the gates at Peking. Slate! Slate! Comstock's coming, Booker. But our lives won't satisfy him. Oh, no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Vigor. That's what they're called. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits. I couldn't remember what they were called. It's called a vigor. Yeah, probably. I probably could. Get to cover! Get out of here, dingle dangle. That was really easy. <laughs> not the Booker DeWitt I remember. Tin Man! Tin Man! Uh oh. Tin Man! Booker, catch! Thanks, girl. That's not a Tin Man, it's a Fireman. I see a Tin Man. Is that all you can muster, soldier? Shut up. Come on now, DeWitt. Don't disappoint the boys. Don't disappoint them. I'm the one that's kicking butt here. Uh oh. Reap what you sow. <laughs> Yo, get out of here. He's gone. He's gone. He, he, he ran away. You get out of here. <laughs> Give me ammo. I need ammo. You coming down here? What are you doing? Wait, how do I get to you? Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, stay away from the, the not the spikes, the uh, the electric spike things. <laughs> you know what? Carbine's a little better. I'll take a carbine. Especially uh, if we're fighting a guy that has electricity powers, because God knows that that has a reach to it. <laughs> Yeah, 
Ow! <laughs> I do again! <laughs> Okay, let's go. Need to get that shock jockey. Whoa. Old friend, you uh, look a little tired. You're not done here, soldier. Eat everything that's on your plate. Finish it. You're a tin man now! A tin man! I'm curious to see the repercussions of us uh, saving him. Because I, I think every time I've played this before, on like a personal playthrough, I think I've killed him. I think. I don't know. I, I, and personally, I don't think the what you do in the game actually changes the outcome. I don't think it affects it this time around. Because with Bioshock 1 and 2, you get like two or three different endings depending on what you do. But I don't know if it changes every time you play. Uh, I guess I'll let you know at the very end of the game when we get to that point if I remember the outcome being different, but I don't think it changes. It wasn't my person. Comstock's men will surely take him. Do you ever get used to it? Killing. Faster than you can imagine. It's fucked up, yo. <laughs> well, we got our shock jockey, so... Suppose we can get going now. You know, those vigors seem very powerful. Thanks, girl. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. <laughs> it's gonna get annoying how many times I'm gonna have to say thanks, girl, throughout this let's play. <laughs> Probably have to say it a ridiculous number of times. Get out of here! You dangle dangle. Walker, I can tell what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me, the better. Well, I guess that does nothing. Just a simple shock. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah, we can go. Awesome. Let's get out of here. Hopefully to never return to the Hall of Heroes because... Got some bad memories there. <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead. There you go. Noise. Noise. Oh, get out of here. That's dirty, man. It's dirty. Stop. <laughs> Let's go. I see him. Open it. You bet. Whoa, someone's hurling stuff at me. It's not very nice. You crazy son bitch. Thanks, girl. Whoa, throwing it to the floor. That's pretty good. 
trash. You ain't nothing but trash. What in the world are you doing over there? What in the world? <laughs> he was like stuck in there. What the? Oh no! Smoke! More money. For some reason. <laughs> oh, it was a cloud. <laughs> yeah. Open it. Okay. Uh, are we good now? Oh! Elizabeth, help! I think we're good now. I love it, man. That's so fun. Sneak attack. I'm all about the sneaky sneaks. Thanks, girl. There's only a few of them left now. I was going to shoot him with an RPG, but only a couple left. Yo, there we go. Big game hunter. That's what I like to see. Whoa, did I spin his head around? <laughs> what in the world? It's over? Please tell me it's Mr. DeWitt. The name's Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker, when there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies. What is there. anarchy if not a knife in the back of our prophet? Dingle dangle. Thanks, girl. Wait, I think we had one of the uh, the big vaults back here. Oh, no, wait, that's the bathroom. <laughs> oh, no, it was back in a couple of rooms ago. I think it was in the Hall of Heroes. Shoot. I know there's been a few we've seen, but we haven't been able to get to any of them because we haven't had enough lockpicks. Oh, well, that's okay. And up we go. Finally. Back to, well, I I the surface, I guess. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. But I always wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? There's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Hmm. <laughs> I like that saying. That's actually a good saying. And with that, guys, I'll leave it here for today. Next time, we will hopefully be able to take our shock jockey over to the little shock jockey power station thing and get things rolling again and hopefully get one step closer to getting Elizabeth back to the people who we told her we were going to bring them to. Bring her to. She thinks we're going to Paris, but nah. Ain't that simple. Ain't that simple. <laughs> so yeah, I'll well, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Hope you have a good one. See ya.